What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, Revis Talk Sports. In this video, I'll be giving you my top five NFL spread picks for week six. For those who have been following the channel, we went two, two, and one with a push in week five, which isn't too shabby considering of how NFL games have been going. So without further ado, let's hop into the video. So at the first game that I'll be talking about is the Buccaneers versus the Saints. The Bucs have yet to have a spread of being away favorites, and the Saints have yet to have a spread of being home underdogs. Baker Mayfield does not have the best track record against divisional opponents at home, as he does have a against the spread record of 4-10, and 10, but does have a 9-9 nine and nine against the spread record on the road. Since 2023, Tampa have the second best against the spread record as the away team being 9-3 and 1-0 and oh being away favorites. In their last 10 games, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are 7-3 against the spread as the away team. Ever since Dennis Allen has become the head coach of the New Orleans Saints in 2022, they are 7-11 as home team against the spread, which is the fourth worst and does not get any easier with a rookie quarterback, Spencer Rattler, taking the place of Derek Carr this weekend. In their last 10 games, the Saints are 3-7 and seven as home team underdogs and 5-7 and seven against the spread as a home team since 2023. In the last two meetings, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have covered both games against the Saints as the away team. This is going to be an interesting divisional matchup. The Buccaneers did lose to an unfortunate situation against the Atlanta Falcons with Bucky Irving's fumble. I think the Buccaneers are going to take a lot of their aggression out on the New Orleans Saints, especially in the divisional game. They're not going to let Spencer Rattler have his way in this game, and I do trust the Buccaneers in this spot to get this W and probably win by hopefully by a touchdown. Give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at minus 3.5. They make a statement in this game to show that they are still competitors in the division. Buccaneers minus three and a half. Next game, Arizona Cardinals versus the Green Bay Packers. The Packers are 0-1 against the spread as home favorites, and the Arizona Cardinals are 2-0 against the spread as away underdogs. Since Love has become the starter in 2023, the Packers are 2-2 against the spread as home favorites. In their last 10 games as the home team, the Packers are 6-4 against the spread with an average margin of victory of negative 0.1. So there's been very, very close games at Lambeau Field the last 10 games. Dating back to 2022, the Packers are 7-11 as the favorites against the spread in their last 18 games. And with a spread of a field goal or more in the last 11 games, they are 5-6. and six. The Cardinals have been one of the hottest underdog teams covering the spread as they have won three straight as road underdogs in their last six games as road underdogs, they have covered 5-1. to one. They now have the second best underdog against the spread record since 2022 with an 18-16 and 16 record. Both teams are 2-2 two two against the spread in their last four meetings, with Arizona Cardinals going 1-0 against the spread as the road underdog. I do believe that this will be a very close game. It's going to be raining a bit at Lambeau Field. Both teams are going to run the ball. We're going to see a lot of James Conner a lot of Kyler Murray, and a lot of Josh Jacobs with the Green Bay Packers. I do not trust the Packers with a line this big. I trust the Cardinals at plus 5.5. Give me the Cardinals at plus 5.5. They have a nice grittiness to this team. They fight until the end of the whistle, until the end of the game. I like the Cardinals at plus 5.5. There's a little bit of uncertainty to this Packers offense. Cannot trust them just yet until they start to get hot and going and blowing teams out at home. Give me the Cardinals plus 5.5. Next, we have the Denver Broncos versus the Los Angeles Chargers. The Denver Broncos are 0-1 are against the spread as home underdogs, and the Chargers are 1-0 against the spread as the away favorite. The Broncos have the third best underdog against the spread record in 2024, going 3-1, and they are 1-0 against the spread since 2023 as home underdogs with a margin of victory of plus 15 points. Since the start of 2021, the Broncos are 6-2 against the spread as home underdogs, and they have gone 5-0 against the spread versus divisional teams. For the Chargers, they are 1-1 against the spread in the last two years, coming off a bye with a margin of victory of 0 and 6-8 and against the spread versus divisional teams since 2022. The Chargers 
have not covered that much or that well against the Denver Broncos unless their last five meetings they have gone two and three against the spread and have not covered against the Broncos in two straight games. The Chargers are coming off a bye, but the Broncos have been hot. They've won a few games in a row. I really like their defense. They are coming back home, and I really love their track record against divisional teams since they have gone 5-0 in their last five games. Give me the Denver Broncos plus three. They extend that streak against divisional teams, and they go 6-0. I like this chart. I like this Broncos defense to give this Chargers offense some trouble. Give me the Broncos at plus three in a low-scoring affair. Next, we have the Detroit Lions versus the Dallas Cowboys. The Lions are 1-0 against the spread as away favorites, and the Cowboys are 0-1 against the spread as home underdogs. Since 2022, the Lions are 6-2 against the spread in their last eight games as away favorites, and 6-1 since 2023. Jared Goff is 19-11-2 against the spread with a rest advantage and has covered seven straight games with a rest advantage. The Lions also have the best against the spread record against NFC teams since 2023, going 13 and 6. The Cowboys have now lost four straight games against the spread as the home team, and they are 5 and 5 against the spread in their last 10 games as the home team. But on the flip side, the Cowboys are 7 and 3 against the spread in their last 10 games as home underdogs. Although Dak Prescott likes to steamroll against the NFC East with a 29-11 against the spread record, he is 37-45-2 and two versus any other division. In their last five meetings, the Cowboys are 3-2 and two against the spread versus the Lions and 2-2 two and two against the spread at home versus the Lions. This is going to be a very interesting game between these two. The Lions are one of the most run-heavy teams in the NFL going against the weakness of the Dallas Cowboys' rush defense. Meanwhile, the, the strength of this Dallas Cowboys offense is the passing game, and the Detroit Lions are ranked 27th in pass defense. I do see this. I do see a, see, a, see a situations of the Lions being up towards the end of the game, and the Cowboys just going through their aerial attack and shredding through this Lions pass defense. I do see the Lions probably winning outright, but give me the Cowboys at plus three. I do see a back cover a backdoor cover of this Cowboys team, keeping it close, potential outright win, but give me the Dallas Cowboys. I'm sure they probably feel disrespected winning two straight primetime games and coming back home as underdogs. Give me the Cowboys with the potential backdoor cover plus three Cowboys. Last but not least, we have the Buffalo Bills versus the New York Jets. The Jets have yet to cover as against the spread record as home underdogs, and the Bills have yet to have an against the spread record in 2024 as away favorites. Since 2023, the Jets are tied for the third most wins as home underdogs with a 4-4 four four against the spread record, and in their last 10 games, they are 5-5 five five against the spread as home underdogs with two straight losses against the spread. The Jets did fire Rob Sala, but teams that fire their coach during the season have a 22-16 and 16 against the spread record in their next game. The Bills are 4-6 and six against the spread in their last 10 games and 5-5 five and five against the spread as away favorites. After the first four games of the season, Josh Allen is 37-40-5 against the spread from game 5 towards the end of the season. Although Josh Allen is excellent in primetime games, the Bills actually are tied for the second worst against the spread wins versus divisional teams since 2022, going two and five. In their last five meetings, the Bills are two and three against the spread against the Jets. Meanwhile, the Jets have covered two games in a row against the Bills at MetLife Stadium. This is going to be another close divisional matchup on primetime. It's up in the air if Shakir will play, up in the air if James Cook will play so it's gonna be a very interesting game um but give me the jets at plus two and a half they've covered two games in a row and i think they will keep this game close i'm sure a lot of people are expecting a blowout of the bills being pissed off playing you know losing two games in a row but the jets are have, are in that raw raw spot of firing their coach now they can start off fresh with a clean slate come back home to metlife stadium give me the close game jets plus two and a half Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed the content, please give the video a thumbs up and comment below on your week six spread picks. Thank you so much and catch you guys next week.